Welcome to Team Rocket Garage. We've got a new Jeep today. Our 1994 V8 Grand Cherokee Laredo. Now I'm convinced that Laredo means base model, but but do not fret. She's minty, she's in good shape, and um, I wanna show you kind of what it looks like. So follow along for our adventure. We're gonna check out our new 1994 Jeep CJ. The first thing you'll notice about this Jeep is that it is powered by a V8 engine. This is the Magnum 5.2, 230 horsepower, 300 foot-pounds of torque. And that's quite a bit when you consider that this vehicle weighs less than 4,000 pounds. Now these Jeeps are cheap because they've got a reputation of having really weak transmissions. That's because of the combination of the six-cylinder engine and weaker Jeep Cherokee transmission. Now this vehicle is heavier than a Jeep Cherokee and so you can imagine that the transmission may not be up to the task and as its reputation precedes it, it sure wasn't. But this came with the 46 RH, which is about the strongest transmission you could get in a Grand Cherokee at the time. Now you might ask yourself, does that mean that this one is unreliable? Maybe, maybe not. We haven't had it for long enough to know. However, I'm convinced that we have bought something that is down here on value and up here on value, right? Monetary value, actual value. We got this bad girl for $1,000. As far as we can tell, the previous owner got it from its original owner. We've got a lot of writing in the owner's manual, tracking oil changes, mileage, repairs, things of that nature. And um, the person we got it from, they replaced a few things inside of it and just didn't do a very good job. So we've got a little bit of cleanup to do, but I think we're pretty close to having a nice one owner Jeep here. Well, let's take a look inside of the Jeep and see what it's about. Now you'll see the standard amenities. We've got a window lock, power windows all the way through and power locks. We've got power windows here, left and right, up, down, left, right. Got our headlights, dimmer switch for the dashboard, and a fog light switch with an indicator light below, letting you know that the fog lights are on. Got a standard tilt wheel, intermittent wipers, windshield wiper sprayer, and cruise control. All standard on the Laredo package. Rear wiper with delay on and a rear wiper sprayer rear defrost, and overdrive off button in case you're towing or going through mountainous terrain. On the dashboard here, you can see we've got our fuel gauge, battery gauge, tachometer, speedometer, oil pressure gauge, and our temperature gauge in the bottom right hand corner. The V8 engine starts smoothly and runs about as smoothly as you'd expect out of a truck engine. The stereo sounds nice with an infinity gold system amplified speakers, and standard front, rear, left, right, bass treble, and a cassette system. The heat and AC is very simple and straightforward. You've got your different settings here in the middle with an off setting, high to low, and then of course we can switch between cold and hot with an independent air conditioning selector switch. Below that, you'll see we have our four wheel drive indicator here. This is an all-time four-wheel drive system. You have standard dimmable beauty lights and mirrors in both sides. The 1994 model was a little different from the 93 with the addition of these headrests. The headrests were removed from the seat to allow for a perfectly flat folding storage compartment. There's access to some storage items down here, as well as a jack and some tire changing equipment below the seat on the other side. for an incredible value on a used off-road vehicle, the Jeep ZJ might just be for you. You can find the between one and three thousand dollars in any array of conditions. This one I think we got pretty lucky on. That's all for now and make sure you subscribe. Thanks again.